Hey, 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 y'all. Greetings and salutations. I hope you guys are having a very, very good day. All is well on my end thus far. Uh, just a lot of reflecting, a lot of thinking. I uh, took my reflective and highly thinking brain downstairs and I made me some shrimp cocktail, baby. Yes, homemade shrimp from scratch cocktail. <clears throat> And uh, yeah, that was delicious. Let me clear my throat, honey. Y'all go ahead and you know what to do. All right, go ahead, get comfortable, relax. We finna pool. <sighs> Might be some chaotic energies, but definitely take and receive the energies as you all deem fit. It's not going to apply with everyone, so don't make it stick, okay? Because it don't got to. All right. <clears throat> Yeah, this energy is very strong today. Very, very strong. Okay. High Priest is bottom of the deck. Yeah, someone's intuition is flowing very, very beautifully today. But you could also be coming ac uh, upon, across some very uncomfortable energies. There's a lot of projections here. There's a lot of deflecting, blame shifting, and there's an energy surrounding... The attempt at causing one to believe that they should give their power up. <clears throat> you see, something, someone, somewhere, all right, break the energies down as you all are experiencing, experiencing them, whether you are or you're not. A lot of you aren't going through the same thing, okay? But <clears throat> I don't know. Somebody just wanted to, like, coerce you out of your own energy, to coerce you out of your own power, and we got this very strong, determined, vivacious, very beautiful, highly gorgeous Queen of Wands energy that is like, uh-uh, like, when did I accept that into my reality? Like, when did I say that I was going to know? Okay? <clears throat> and someone here could be in the Seven of Pentacles energy. They've already lost so much because of this said situation that they could be going through in their own perspective journeys and they have not found that level of thinking that you have acquired attained or found all right they have not tapped into that inner knowing they haven't awakened it here right and um <clears throat> as a result yeah it's causing someone to either like despise your 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 victory or, or wonder why you're not in misery with them. <clears throat> Someone is like, we went through the same thing or a similar thing here. How are you the only one <clears throat> rising from this? How are you the only one evolving fr from this? How are you having victory in this? And that's because no matter what you've been through collective for many of you, May not be all of you, hell, I'm not going to project on all 17,700 or however many of y'all it is, <laughs> okay? Um, I'm not going to project on all y'all, but y'all know exactly who you are. You know that you've always had a heart of gold, okay? You know that you have always been at one with the most high. You know, you know that you have always had like a pure heart, clean hands, and, and that's not to say or even exempt you from the reality and the fact that, hell, you could have made mistakes in your past. You could still be making some mistakes to this day. Everyone has, again, something that they are dealing with. Do not allow these foes, these fraudulent, very insecure, uh, very, I don't know why I wanted to say, like, an emotionally and or spiritually incestuous energies to make you think otherwise, to make you feel otherwise, right? <clears throat> Let's see, what do we have? Okay, so we have by choice. All right, so either something is being done by choice or some someone is going to decide something for themselves. Okay, we have do not take the narc back. Interesting. I spelled that with a K. Hmm. Someone's name could start uh, with the initial K, first, middle, last. All right. We have in captivity. Exactly. Someone is in some sort of mental prison, mental captivity. Okay, because it's like someone is, is freely giving their power up to the enemy when they have so much more. All right. Yeah, we have wire transfer. I'm strongly picking up on that wealth transfer energy. Okay, your ancestral wealth, your cosmic wealth, okay, is being 
transferred over to you. All right. <clears throat> Something about a victim mindset. All right. So beware of individuals coming back, either family, friends, loved ones, ex-lovers, what have you, people in your community that you barely knew, whatever, that all of a sudden become victims and begin villainizing you. Okay, when you get to the level of success that you have been working towards, that you have been building, all right, <clears throat> somebody feels like you're not making a lot of noise. Somebody feels like you don't receive a lot of recognition, all right? But all that's about to change, okay? Very rapidly, very quickly for some of you, this does not necessarily mean that you all are on a platform, but this could be in regards to those of you who are on platforms that are remaining consistent, that are doing the work, and, you know, you're not doing fuck shit behind the scenes you know for views like subs and you know the list goes on all right but anyhow we have a a new car right someone here could be sitting in a new car you could have just recently pur purchased a new car congratulations or you be, could be purchasing a second car in cash this is incoming energy that i'm strongly picking up on something to do with get a warranty though okay we have teleportation yeah you have the gift of teleportation whoever is in this queen of wands and or king of wands energy <clears throat> it's like the more you focus your mind the more you control your thoughts control your feelings control your emotions whether negative or positive the more things shift and change for you and of course those of whom aren't actively practicing this on a daily basis they're not going to believe in it but it is really true when you can control you, you can really shift things. You can shift the universe around you. And that's nothing but facts, okay? Yeah, we have a waiting trial. Okay, this could be spiritual, physical. Definitely take the energy where it resonates. A waiting trial here. <clears throat> okay, we have suffering and silence in the reverse. But y'all know how it is. I moved it up right. Right behind that, we have their jealousy and hatred is killing them. Very interesting and not on a positive note i feel like someone here is really just unnecessarily stressing themselves out summoning all these different demons and principalities and high places okay <clears throat> because they're suffering in silence here okay somebody did not necessarily agree to something can consent to something here all right, um, we have their jealousy and hatred is killing them. Bottom of the deck, what do we have? Ooh, almost dropped the card. Yeah, somebody, ooh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Somebody wants some, yeah, okay, I just heard ball in your court. So somebody wants the ball, like you, they want, exactly, they want you to drop the ball. Thank you, Spirit. All right, we have never meant for things to go this far. Okay, we have <clears throat> neighbors who meddle in your business, and then we have Libra energy. All right, you could be the Libra in this situation, or you could have been dealing with one. But I'm also strongly picking up on Leo, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energies. Okay, we have an ancestor message, so it's going to be okay. Absolutely, it's going to be okay. As I mentioned, like somebody f wants you to like drop the ball. They want you to make this dire mistake that's either going to like put you away forever or um, yeah, mentally imprison you forever. But they didn't know that, hell, you've already overcome that. You've already superseded that, that situation and them. The situation they was trying to bring towards you and you overcame them. See, this is what the fuss is about. All right. Yeah, we have still follows you on social media. All right. So for those of you, again, this all of these messages aren't going to um, coincide with everyone out there. But someone here, if you're, you know, on social media, whether you have a business or whatever the case is, someone from your past is still following you or someone from your present energy that you could have like blocked off or you're mentally, emotionally like distancing yourself from or whatever the case yeah they still follow you or they're following your social media on a fake page okay yeah we have you hit different <clears throat> hit different <laughs> i like that song okay we got acted like they was too good for you exactly but didn't you hit different hold on y'all <laughs> and didn't you hit different queen of wands okay but now you at this victory now you're having this victory they're like sheesh Okay, yeah, they're realizing you were too good for them. It was never they was too good for you. That was a negative. <clears throat> okay. We're going to sip our tea on that. All right, what do we have? All right, so check your home for hidden cameras. Check phone, computer for bugs. You are being surveillanced. Interesting. 
again, these messages aren't going to coincide and, and you know, <clears throat> apply to everyone. Yeah, we have quitting is expensive and everything you, well, what does it say? Everything you spend comes back to you times 10. Yes, affirmation, energy. Yes, everything you spend comes back to you times 10, Divine Feminine. We have holler, yeah, that hit dog will holler energy. Okay. <clears throat> signs all right yeah that someone could be hiding something from you what um hmm. i'm gonna pull some tarot but honestly i'm not being guided to pull from this tarot deck i'm actually being guided to pull from this one all right so let's see what are the messages spirit guides ancestors most high Archangel Michael, please come on in for your bountiful protection of myself and the beautiful divine collective. All right, all my genuine ones, my resilient souls out there. All right, my soul holders, that is. <laughs> we get extra specific, okay, if you know what I mean. But anyhow, what is this? Yeah, this is speaking of a tower. Whoever's hiding something, I don't know, once this comes to the light, <clears throat> whatever it is that they're trying to hide or they're trying to hide from, run away from, yeah, all of this is going to come to the light. Yeah, two of swords, you're definitely protected. Yeah, something about the blindfold being off. You're no longer blinded by the things that this person says or does. You know that they're a liar. Okay. Or this could also be in regards to the enemy, you know, that opposing energy that wants you to stay, you know, for example, in negative thinking, negative emotions and negative vibrations, lower vibrations, you know, that enemy, I mean, excuse me, that energy is sent from the enemy of you, the enemy can be anything, y'all got to break this down spiritually, this gets real, it can be food, it, it goes far beyond drugs, alcohol and sex, it could be anything, that you're overdoing or placing to the forefront of your life when you could be doing something totally opposite and different and or just redeveloping your inner knowing to where you're not accepting lower vibrational energies into your aura to begin with okay to begin with excuse me so we have this ace of pentacles energy all right so this could be the the energy that you're walking into at this time yeah with the king of swords somebody Either you're in this King of Swords, Ace of Pentacles energy, or you would have somebody just very defensive. I don't know why I'm picking up on defensive energy. Damn, as I said that, the Five of Wands popped out. <clears throat> this is because it's like everything you say or do, somebody feels like it's like a personal attack towards them. A lot of you could have just recently confronted somebody and had to like let them know about themselves and tell them like, yo, I'm not talking about you. Like I've had, you know, different experiences in my life and you know, you're not the only one that, you know, has either done X, Y, or Z or has been through X, Y, and Z. I've been through it too. Yeah. It's like somebody hates to see you in your star energy. It's like they really despise seeing you wealthy. They despise seeing you spiritually will, uh, wealthy um, <clears throat> and rich. <clears throat> Gosh, I don't know. Yeah, somebody could also be trying to mess with your throat chakra because I didn't clear my throat. I don't know how many times. Yeah, something about a clearing of your throat, something to do. With, yeah, this could be this upcoming trial. Someone may be very nervous to plead their their point or to like um, get their point across. A lot of you could have been recently fe feeling like you were just ignored or somebody wasn't going to like uh, like in an adult way, like listen to your point of view on a situation. But best and believe you will have the opportunity to you know speak your mind and get your your point across on whatever situation that you know mentally emotionally or psychologically pl plagues you you know this could be in protection of like yourself or you know people connected to you all right yeah know that you will receive justice in this situation you know yeah it's gonna bring up you know nervousness and things such as that but also you know once you allow those feelings to pass understand overstand that that is just a tactic and a snare of the enemy to keep you in low vibrational energies and that you really do have the tools needed to overcome that okay so again this isn't going to be for everybody because everybody isn't willing to do the the hard work everybody isn't willing to put on their big boy and big girl underwear all right and get to work yeah we have nine of cups so yeah hmm these could be energies that were once connected to i'm picking on like a mother figure energy yeah somebody is doing a lot of watching you from afar suffering in silence somebody could have like bragged about something to you 
Yeah, now they're suffering. Yeah, watching you hold the key to the truth, the key to this generational wealth, this key to generational healing, ancestral healing, things such as that, this wand, all right? And you hold it in your hands. This Queen of Wands, King of Wands energy. Okay. <clears throat> Tell me more about uh, whatever you would like my collective to know. Ooh, okay, so we have Queen of Pentacles and the Magician. Yeah, I feel like you're blocking off this either masculine or feminine energy or you're blocking off these snares. Yeah, this con these confusion spells, either distraction spells or just, yeah, somebody's trying to like block your light, ultimately blocking your fortune, but that isn't going to work. In fact, they've already lost. Yeah, this is why all of this tension is going on, all of this bickering and fighting. Something about an undercover brother or sister. <sighs> okay, what? Damn, we got the... We got the devil, king of pentacles. Okay. What else? Okay, with the temperance. Yeah, there's some sort of situation that is being balanced out. Bottom of the deck, we got the knight of pentacles. Something about like picking up one's ankh. Okay, one's cross, ankh, however you guys want to look at it. Yeah, tapping into your like ancestral or generational DNA. Tapping into your true, yeah, something about native. Somebody here that's in my collective could be native to the lands. You could be indigenous. Uh, you could be Nubian, all right? Yeah, somebody has like a strong connection and or a strong bond to their ancestors. Yeah, your ancestors are definitely guiding you at this time. Yeah, strength, exactly. You're very powerful. Somebody has assessed the right information to like something about like bigging your situation up or transforming your situation for the better. But I definitely see things shifting for you. Yeah, something about a positive notion. I don't know what that is, but uh, let's see. You know what? <clears throat> hmm. I'm going to pull some messages from our... What is this deck called? I always like to tell you guys the decks. <clears throat> oh, these are the energy oracle cards. So in conclusion, we're going to pull some energy oracle card messages, and we're going to see what comes out, all right, that I can leave you all with. Spirit is saying there's no need to further convey anything. You all are in deep understanding overstanding of what you need to do which is controlling your thoughts your emotions all right and your feelings okay you do not have to accept things into your reality spirit is actually testing you at this time what are you going to allow into your reality what are you going to allow into your subconscious you know like this is a test and you have way more power you could be a leo aries sagittarius you could also be like a Pick it up on earth sign energy. We got a lot of green out here. Also air sign. You can be any of the elements, but those are just the main signs that are really sticking out to me. Picking up on heavy Sagittarius energy, heavy Gemini energy as well. Okay, yeah, you can have multiple sides of you. Yeah, we have the thinking woman angel of love. Okay, we have the ages 47 and 49 here. Yeah, we have anxiety. Yeah, you've come out of this anxiety. Yeah, something about return to sender spells and or rituals. You could be taking like spiritual baths at, at this time or you're being uh, divinely guided too. All right, bottom of the deck, we have door to romance. So things are definitely opening up for you, definitely shifting. That's the number 33. 33 is like one of my favorite numbers. Uh, so we're going to read a quick excerpt, guys, and then I'm going to conclude the read. Okay, so we have new beginnings in love. <clears throat> so whether you're looking for a new relationship or just more love in the relationship you're in, this door with a heart opens onto a new beginning in your experience. Oh, that's another thing I wanted to add. I know this is kind of off topic, but somebody feels like they know something about your love life. Okay, it's like you just exude like an energy of being like a wife, okay, or just high status, you know, highly sought after. So I don't know, that's just <laughs> somebody needs to hear that. Okay, so anyhow, this may be a call from a past life or it may be a new tenderness about to bloom into heartfelt connection all right this could also indicate this relationship already exists in energetic potential all right so i'm not going to read any more from that but <clears throat> overall you guys get the gist of what's been going on um all in all somebody just does not like to see you having victory somebody does not like to see you having get your way somebody does not like to see you being yourself and not generic um, and actually winning, actually coming up from that, all right? But yeah, like I said, the energy is just, <laughs> it's it's online, and it's one 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 as I'm saying this, on the clock, you know, the actual time. But um, yeah, guys, that is what I have. So until the next one, y'all, peace.